Hey guys, it's Bricks here, and today we'll be doing a quick guide on how to kill Tarantula 4s. And it's actually quite simple. So as for gear, key component for this gear is a spider hat. Since it makes spiders deal 50% damage, it is very helpful. Also, the 25% extra crit chance makes it so you can focus your talismans on Itchy, so that you can get more crit damage. And then the rest of the gear, you can just use a strong set, superior set, or really even unstable set. And also, the only thing you need most is a good weapon, but the minimum is still going to be a leaping sword with max hot potato books. And the last crucial item will be a radiant power orb. So that is going to be your main source of healing. So let's begin. So to spawn this boss especially, you definitely want a set of very wise because maneuvering around this spider's den, it is so much easier if you can go up and kill spiders layer by layer. Just drop down and keep dropping and shoot using your bow to shoot and kill every spider you see. And then rinse and repeat after you're done and just go right back up again because you can't do that with any other set Once again, once you're only one or two kills away from spawning the boss, you want to set it up in position. So for this one, put on the gear. You so many bows in my inventory. And we want to lead a spider over here. We just bait it. Come here, little spider. This way. Once you find the last spider, you lead it into 
the hole with the fairy soul. Let it drop in. Make sure it doesn't die to fall damage. It's at one HP. Pot up and start the kill. So all you gotta do is attack it. So once again, Daisy's not actually helping. She's just, she just helped me set up the boss. She's not actually helping me kill it. So it is completely soloable. So all you do now is just keep clicking the boss and set up radiant power orbs every once in a while. So now set up another one and you keep attacking it. You'll be able to out heal it just fine. So once you're low, do like a little zombie sword or just run away a bit. It's already at one mil HP, so halfway there. And you keep attacking it, stay in a corner so you don't take knockback. You don't have to run away. Make sure you just pop your radiant power orbs. And you keep on going. So yeah, this is actually one of the easiest bosses to solo. Since all you do is click and it doesn't really regen, so. It's HP just slowly goes down and it's dead. There we have it, in fairly minimal gear. You just need a spider hat, and you're able to solo what was once believed the hardest of the tier four bosses. And then you go to Maddox, and he'll give you your sweet 500 XP. Hope this guide was informative, and thank you all for watching. Bye.